Joining us now at the UiPath Together Public Sector Summit is Deputy CIO of the Department of the Air Force, Winston Beauchamp. Winston, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So let's start today with a question about where automation has made a meaningful difference over the past year and how the Air Force does its mission. Okay, great. Just a quick example of one area where automation has made a difference in this past year uh, is a requirement that the Air Force has for uh, weather data globally. So in order to conduct operations, particularly air, air, air operations, we need to have a good understanding of uh, rainfall and lightning data around the world. And typically the way that information is gathered is through uh, weather radars on the ground. Well, a lot of the uh, globe is covered by water and so not really possible to do that everywhere. But we do have uh, overhead weather satellites that collect uh, cloud cover information. And we were able to use uh, RPA uh, algorithm development in order to automate the production of synthetic, if you will, weather radar information using that overhead uh, satellite information uh, so that we could get a, a clean picture uh, of the appropriate type of information around the world. And that work uh, started out a, a year ago and in a, in a short uh, period of time, we were able to get an operational system in place by the first quarter of this year that now uh, provides a, a, a global uh, weather picture to help keep our, our airmen safe. Another example um, has to do with uh, an automated target recognition mission um, using uh, imagery data to find uh, targets uh, in, in clutter and uh, typically a, a very manually intensive process that requires uh, hundreds of hours of time scanning through imagery or whether it's uh, still imagery or full motion video, uh, to, find, uh, to find targets in the, in, in the world. Uh, using AI, we've been able to reduce the amount of time that an analyst needs to take uh, by uh, identifying potential targets ahead of time uh, that are then vetted in front of the uh, trained analyst uh, so they, that she can only focus, only needs to focus on uh, those areas that are, that are brought to her attention. And both of these examples have, uh, have both improved our uh, mission performance and saved thousands of hours of time. Winston, how far, far along are agencies like the Department of the Air Force in training employees to use automation to, to do their jobs more efficiently or to do more valuable work? So we certainly have a long way to go, but we've made really great progress, especially in the past year. We've employed a mechanism called the RPA Accelerator as a way to bring experts together, uh, to brainstorm ideas where automation could help in the performance of job duties, and in some cases, mock up uh, examples right away on the spot. Uh, and so we recently did one of these accelerator functions where inside our, our logistics area, uh, where the team was able to brainstorm 24 ideas uh, of ways to include automation to streamline our work processes. Uh, they wound up mocking up 12 of them and within a week, five of those were in operations already. Uh, and so there's a lot of potential uh, for using these sorts of uh, capabilities uh, to take work uh, out of the process to remove uh, touch labor where it doesn't need to be. As we close out, how do you see automation evolving from back office work to more mission centric activities? Sure. So. We have a 40 year history in this country of automation being introduced into the work uh, first through the business mission area and then evolving over time into, into operations. And I think this will be no exception. Uh, so I fully expect to see the same application of uh, innovation and ideas that we're currently experiencing in, in the business areas, uh, logistics, financial management, personnel management, uh, migrate into operations. We have uh, seeds planted in a number of different systems today on the ops side uh, that will uh, bear fruit in, in our uh, continuing automation journey. Uh, as we continue to do so, we expect that you know, we'll develop policy right alongside that will uh, help to provide guardrails for safety, but also uh, not stifle innovation as it progresses. Winston, thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure uh, to chat with you. Thank you.